Today I'm out in the shop, or outside rather, we'll be back in the shop on the bench in just a minute, testing the Ford coil tower, as Ford calls it. Some people call it a coil pack. This coil is used for a number of Ford 4.6 V8 engines from 1992 through 2001. As a bit of trivia, it's also used on the two spark plug per cylinder, four cylinder Ranger trucks. This information will be useful for almost any Ford owner that has a Ford vehicle manufactured during these years. For an application chart, see my video description. I'm gonna throw up a quick application chart for this particular coil. You could pause it here if you, if you find this helpful. Now I have many other videos showing general automotive work, modifications and tips. If you find this video helpful, consider subscribing and watching the other videos. To subscribe, just click the Styles Automotive icon in the lower right of the screen. The ignition system contains two separate coil packs. Each contain two coils. So you can think about this as a four coil system. These coil packs are divided up into two coils each, left and right side. Ford treats this as a four coil system, all controlled by the powertrain control module or PCM. Each ignition coil activates two spark plugs simultaneously. One spark plug on the compression stroke. Ford says this spark plug uses a majority of the ignition coil's energy. And one spark plug on the exhaust stroke. This spark plug uses very little of the ignition coil's stored energy. To remove the coil, Disconnect the plug wires, you press each side, these lock in place. Disconnect the electrical connector from the ignition coil. Then remove the four seven millimeter head size ignition coil hold down bolts from the coil bracket and then simply pull the coil up and out of the coil bracket. Like the title of this video says, this is a bench test. So let's go to the bench. Here we are at the bench. I have a couple of MSD coils for us to test. And uh, this is, uh, you could use this for a stock replacement for a higher energy coil. The part number 8241 from MSD. But before we get started on the test, let me uh, re-emphasize from the Ford Service Manual page, and let me blow that up for you. Like I said, this is divided into two coil packs, two coils each, so you can see the corresponding cylinders. So number one and number six, these two cylinders fire together. One is on the compression stroke, one on the exhaust stroke, so they're 180 degrees off. That's the way all these um, coils, all four coils are. And on the OEM coils, there's a number here down on the side of each coil. So you can use this coil on either side of the engine and you know where this, where the plug wires go. So of course, six and seven. So one on one side and one on the other. So six and one. So just like the illustration above, six and one, six and one, or seven and four, seven and four on the other side, on the left hand side, that's the right hand side. If you're using this to, if you're using this video to put your plug wires back on, you're, you're probably in pretty rough shape, but uh, you can use it for that. Pause your video and take a look at that. Anyway, that uh, then there's three connectors inside the electrical connector. The center one then being a positive and then coil four on one side and coil three on the other and then the same thing up on top positive in the center and then coil one left hand side coil two on the right hand side so this side being one that side being two three or correction this side being three that side being four For an OEM Ford Motorcraft coil, the resistance for the primary circuit should be 0.3 to 1 ohm. And the secondary circuit resistance should be 6.5 to 
to 11.5 kilo ohms. For this MSD coil shown, the primary circuit should be 0 0.5. 5.3 ohms and the secondary circuit should be 13.7 kilo ohms to test the primary circuit turn your meter to ohms that's so you can see it and then connect your uh, probes from the positive terminal the center one to either side coil so for the left side I have 0.5 ohms Remember for an MSD coil, I said 0 0.53 ohms and the right side 0.5 ohms. For the secondary circuit, I should have 13.7 ohms. And for, to test that, you go across the two spark plug connections for that particular coil bank. And on the left hand side, I have 13.72 kilo ohms, and the right side, I have 13.95 kilo ohms. So this coil is a little high. That concludes the video. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments and please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I look forward to your comments.